Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed a CenterView dashboard into an existing HTML page. I've built this template specifically to show how to do this. Let's go to Corda's wiki. Um, this is at wiki.corda.com. And if you do a search for JavaScript Embedder API, um, you should come up with this page. Um, the first thing we need to do to get this to work is in the HTML page that you're trying to embed a dashboard in, you need to include a JavaScript file that ships with CenterView. Okay, so here's my uh, source HTML file, uh, the styles that go with it in images. I'm going to bring it up in an editor. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, make sure that we include the cvembedder.js file. Now, notice how I've got localhost here. In, in your document, uh, you want to put the uh, domain name of, of your CenterView server and also the port if it happens to be different. Okay, so that's done. The next thing we need to do is, uh, if we go back to our page, is we want to embed it in this center area so using Firebug in uh, Firefox um, we notice that we have a div with an ID of center is the target area where we want to do our embedding so let's go back to our document and uh, sure enough here's a div with an ID of center um, the first thing I'm going to show is a basic embedder API. To use it, um, you basically put a class on your div, class equals cv-embed. There we go. And then inside of the div, you put an anchor tag with the link to the resource you want to uh, to show. In our case, we're going to show a dashboard. Okay. Once again, in our examples on the wiki, um, we just have a fake domain name. You want to put your own here. Since I happen to be using a server installed on my local machine, I'm going to use localhost. I want to embed a dashboard called Embed API, which you can download from our wiki page. And instead of a KPI, I just want to load the entire dashboard. If I save this file and go back to this page and let's reload, get rid of Firebug, you can see that instead of a black area there, I've now got a dashboard. Okay, so that's the basic embedder. Uh, makes it really easy to embed a dashboard page or KPI right in your document. Um, we've also got a little bit more advanced is the advanced embedder API. Um, there are some reason you, reasons you'd want to use one over the other. The basic embedder is really good at just getting your content there and you're done. Um, the advanced API uh, gives you more control. So for instance, um, what if when I clicked on dashboard, I want the da a dashboard to appear in that area. If I click on page, I want a page to appear in that area. And if I click on KPI, I want a KPI to appear in that area. Um, the basic embedder would not allow you to do that. So here's where the advanced embedder comes in. So. Um, using JavaScript on your page, um, in real time you can tell um, what you want to happen. So in this little example here, we'll say targeting KPI2 ID, which happens to be right above it. Um, here's the source, so we're going to show a KPI. We're going to pass some parameters to the KPI. We're going to post them, and we're also going to do some styling for the browser. When this JavaScript command runs, the div right here will 
have KPI2 inside of it. So to show how this works, I'm just going to quickly copy this for a template to start with. And at the bottom of our document, I'm going to paste it. Now we already know that in our case, uh, our ID is, is called center. Okay. Um, we are going to pass a source. We do not need to pass any of the other, other options right now. We're just going to use these two. Okay. What we want to do is we're going to create a function called embed so that we can use it multiple times. You pass in a URL. Okay. And instead of the source, we're going to use the URL that was passed in. Okay. And then on our dashboard or our controls for our page, we're going to do an on click event using the embed function that we just made. I'm just going to copy and paste these on the next two also. Okay. Um, using what we used for the basic embedder was we would just show the whole dashboard. So we already have that URL. So when you click on dashboard, we're going to show the same thing that's already there by default. When you click on the page, instead of a dashboard, we want to show page one. And when you click on KPI, we want to show KPI one. Okay. So let me save that. Let's refresh our browser. Okay. So if I did this right, Clicking on page will bring up our page. Clicking on KPI will bring up just the KPI. And clicking back on dashboard will bring up the full dashboard. So that completes our tutorial. Thank you.